Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pepwave Surf Soho and one of the uses for its included PPTP server. The first question you might have is, what is PPTP? PPTP stands for Point-to-Point -point Tunneling Protocol. This is a method for establishing a virtual private network, or VPN, between two places. A PPTP tunnel will encapsulate and securely transmit data across the open internet. Let's say we have our phone and computer and we're browsing the internet at the local coffee shop through their free Wi-Fi. If we want to securely transmit data, say to online banking, we can connect to the home PPTP server. Now any information that we send or receive is going to be encapsulated and transmitted securely from the coffee shop Wi-Fi through the open internet back to our Surf Soho. This protects us for any potential threats on the coffee shop Wi-Fi network, and it also lets us take advantage of the Soho's firewall while away from home. Setting up PPTP on your Surf Soho is very easy. On the admin interface on the top you'll click Advanced, and on the left side under Miscellaneous Settings is PPTP Server. Click that. This is disabled by default, but it's a simple checkbox and a save to enable it. The Listen On Options drop down from the top. This is going to be which internet connection your PPTP actively listens for incoming requests on. This way if you have Wi-Fi as WAN or USB and you're trying to monitor bandwidth, you can limit it to just your standard WAN connection only. User accounts on the bottom, you obviously must create these. You can create them for your different devices, you individually, your phone, um, or other users on the network. When you click on Add, you'll specify a username. We'll just call this generically 3G Store. And we'll put in a password, uh, let's say 3G Store. We're going to click OK, and you'll see that we actually got an error. Your password does have to be at least 8 to 12 characters long, so this is the additional security. So we'll just put a 1, 2, 3, click OK. You can see that it's now saved in the list. There's a red X where you can delete them, and an Add button where you can have more. Plus, you can always go in and edit these later. When you click on Save, and then Apply Changes, everything is set and ready to go. Because all phones, laptops, and computers connect to PPTP servers differently, I won't be able to walk you through that. However, we are going to look at exactly how bandwidth transfers from that device through your Surf Soho. So this is a view of my home Surf Soho. As you can see, I have all of my devices connected to it, as well as the very last one, which says PPTP Phone. Currently, I'm at work connected to the Wi-Fi there. So I'm going to now securely browse a website from my phone. It's going to tunnel the traffic back through my home surf Soho, giving me a secure connection. So now that we're pulled in, the two numbers we're looking for are across the top right where it says 0 and 0. To show the bandwidth passing from the warehouse internet back to my home surf Soho, I'm just going to launch a video from our 3G Store YouTube page. Normally you'd be protecting things like emails or your online banking information while using the PPTP connection, but we're going to be doing the YouTube video here just so you can see the bandwidth. Now a couple seconds after the video starts, you can see that we have some activity back on our admin interface. You can see that as we watch the video, the traffic is going from the Wi-Fi network at the warehouse I'm connected to, sending it over the internet back to my home surf Soho, and that's where my traffic is coming from. Now I have the protection from my surf Soho at home and connection going both ways. I can even use the PPTP server to connect to remote resources such as printers and files. For more information, visit 3gstore.com slash surfsoho, and for more videos like these, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.